When working the client's neck and upper back with the client's supine, the first thing we have to think about is where we sit. If I'm going to work the very top of Linda's upper back here, then I take a look at the contour, and the contour is facing just slightly out this way, so I'll adjust my seat to be a little bit off to the right side. Next, I want to try and get my elbow inside my core. I think about placing it inside my anterior superior iliac spine, my ASIS. It might be actually a little higher than that, but that's a nice way to think of it. I very often have to turn my, rotate my shoulder joint outward to get my elbow in there. And I literally put my arm, my upper arm, against my body wall. For a therapist that either has a lot of mass in front or a large-breasted female therapist, if you can't get very far in, even if you get just a little bit against your body wall, it will help get your core behind your upper extremity. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip my fingers underneath her back until my thumb meets her upper back. At this point, I'm going to slightly extend my thumb so it's more my thumb pad touching her and not my thumb tip so it's not pokey. And then the, the pressure for the stroke comes from my core. If my core rocks forward, then that pressure translates straight through my forearm, into my hand, into my thumb, into the client. So it's not a matter of shoulder girdle or deltoid work here. It's a matter of having my upper arm glued against my core and when I rock with my pelvis forward, that translates straight through my elbow, forearm, hand, thumb, into the client. Let's look at our contact now to work the client's upper back with our thumb contact with the client's supine. I place my hand with the dorsum against the table and I slide my fingers under the client's back until my thumb meets the client's musculature. I slightly extend my thumb so I'm not poking with my thumb tip, and rather I'm a little flatter on the thumb pad. I have my elbow in inside my ASIS, I lean with my core, and the pressure translates into the client. If I want to turn this into a stroke, I can make this a short stroke, I have a lubricant here, and I try and do it from the core, not from the thumb working itself. Also important is if I'm more posterior, I'm against the trapezius and other muscles in back and there's more muscle meat there, I can put more pressure here. If I'm not careful, if I come too far anteriorly, I'm going to be in the posterior triangle here and the scalenes are in here as well as the brachial plexus of nerves and I have to be careful not to exert too much pressure if I'm working in this area. The deep work we're looking to do is primarily more posterior back over here.